What is going on guys? Greggles TV. One of the new things in Samsung One UI is device care. They've actually renamed it. I think it used to be called device maintenance. Previously it's now called device care and to swipe down, to get to it you just swipe down from the top, go into settings and you will see device care. Click on it and we're just going to run through the settings on here. A lot of it should look familiar to you. Um, your battery should last for one to three years depending on usage if you're seeing reduced battery performance or noticing battery swelling check your phone at an authorized repair center so in here you can close that out basically let's hit the three dots in the top right and there's a couple things you can do right off the bat auto optimization basically it optimizes your phone automatically once a day background apps will be closed but not your most recently used apps and unnecessary files will be deleted this won't affect your personal data so you can set a schedule for this mine does it at 3 a.m you can turn it on off whatever you want Next up, if you go back into here, is auto restart. So I wish this would actually do it every night, but it looks like it only, I don't think you can, oh, you can, okay. You used to be able to only do this once a, a week, I believe it was. So basically, auto restart, restart your phone automatically. This time, the time you set your phone will all only restart when the screen is off, the phone isn't being used, the battery is above 30%, and the SIM card is off lock. So I'm gonna change this, it's at 3 a.m. I'll change it to, uh, 3.30 a.m. Done. And it'll happen every 3.30 a.m. Every single day it's gonna restart my phone, which I don't mind, I'll be sleeping, let it do its thing. Go back in here, app issue history. It's gonna show you apps. Uh, device Secure has detected 13 apps that may be causing issues, including malware, app crashes, high battery usage. So if you look at it, I have 13 apps like they said. If I go into Instagram, it shows me that the app crashed on 12.21. A lot of these is just app crashes I've noticed. So it's all app crashes, even the one with 40 issues, I think it's all app crashes. So, well, what is that one? Yeah, it's not, it doesn't seem like a huge deal in terms of it being a problem with the performance of my phone, just that the apps crash. Hide icon on app screen, just the device, this app that I'm in right now, just you can show the icon or hide the icon on your app screen. Contact us is gonna allow you to report bugs, things like that. And then about device care, just gives you the version that you're on, security version, stuff like that. Next, if we go in here, you can go into, let's look at battery first. So batteries tell me I have an estimated battery life of eight hours, 28 minutes. I can go into battery usage and see what's been using the most of my battery and my screen has obviously, you can see Android system, which is the operating system for Android, device idle and YouTube, so on and so forth are using a lot of my battery in here. If I click in here, I can hide OS and system apps. So always click those three dots just to see what you have. If I go into settings here, I can go into more stuff, notifications, get notified about, notified about apps using power in the background. I can you know, have that as a notification or turn it on or off. Adaptive battery limits battery usage for apps that you don't use often. Your phone will learn how you use apps over time. You can put use, unused apps to sleep automatically and turn that on or off. Sleeping apps, same thing, auto disabled unused apps, all kinds of settings in here. You can turn off fast charging or fast cable charging, whatever you want. We also can hit optimize now in here and this will do like basically, you can see what it's doing right here, remove storage and stuff like that, you can hit done. I can go into my storage and this is, I just deleted stuff so it's not gonna, it shouldn't show anything to, oh I guess I can clean something here, 927 megs. It just frees up storage space by deleting unnecessary data such as cache, residual, and advertisement files. So I click that. It should get rid of that stuff. And there you go. You don't have to think about anything to get that all cleaned up for yourself. Other than that, it kind of breaks down your storage and what's, you know, what you're using. 25 gigs of apps, uh, 26 megs of documents, 2.8 gigs of images, 34 gigs of videos. I click this three dots. You can look at storage analysis, so it'll analyze your storage and give you graphs and things like that. You can get rid of duplicate files. You can look at large files and delete them if you want to. It's really like an endless supply of like <laughs> settings. It's pretty insane in here. Pretty cool though, if you're into like just tinkering and running around and looking at what's going on with your, with your stuff. Storage settings, you can go in here and you can uh, look at even more breakdowns of your storage. You can also go to update. The 
360 security bay database is automatically updated every two weeks. You can also update now. So if you want to update your security files, you can do that there. Then you want to go into memory. Memory is going to show you, these are basically apps that are using up your storage. So I can clean up 568 megs of, of apps that are using of my uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. So if I do that, it's basically going to close those apps uh, that are using all that stuff. And maybe you'll even make your phone run slightly better. Hit the three dots. Apps that aren't checked. No apps. You can add apps in there. Uh, and then lastly, you got security. I don't have this turned on. I feel like I'm pretty safe with my phone. I don't need it turned on. But basically, Samsung keeps your phone safe by searching for suspicious activity. Act, uh, activate anti-malware to protect your phone. I'd recommend this for somebody that, you know, doesn't feel safe, maybe they're going on some shady websites, stuff like that, you can go in here and activate that. But, but that in a general sense is device care. Hopefully it gave you a little better understanding of uh, it overall on Samsung One UI. Hopefully you gained and learned something from it. If you have any other tips for us, leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road. Peace.